Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again with another episode of Pac-Man. Now this is of course the Pac-Only Road to Glory and after uh, rather inadvertently playing a fellow YouTuber in the last episode in a single player match, we're actually going to head back into the leagues, trying to uh, to pick up those bonuses you get for finishing a season. We'll hopefully try and boost our coin stack towards being able to get more regular packs on a more regular basis, so that way hopefully we can improve at a faster rate. But we're going into the first game here against Wigham All-Stars and uh, of course we're still in Division 10, so uh, a side like this in Division 10 is particularly difficult to play against. Lots of uh, lots of player attribute cards, as you can see through the centre of that uh, centre of that team. But fantastic Bundesliga team. Although why he's playing Goetzer up top and Abamyang at striker when the uh, the opposite way around position wise Cam and ST not really too sure but we're hoping to have a decent game here we actually got a fantastic start in the third minute we're actually going to catch a uh, catch their defender out and pick ourselves up a penalty I think it's Tony Cruz actually making the tackle kind of not his speciality in uh, making tackles in the box but lovely touch from Peter Crouch that replay shows it fantastically just to put the ball through his legs and uh, you know just get the block off and win the penalty it's a fair penalty and uh, Sequeira is actually going to step up to take it 88 penalties he has actually on his uh, on his stats which is uh, something I didn't know he had had so it uh, kind of adds an extra dimension to his game at left back of course he and Dede are linking up very very well with uh, with that left back left centre back partnership but Silva Marvo is actually going to put us 2-0 up with a fantastic left footed strike he doesn't have the most pace on that left hand side his first touch in all honesty isn't the best but if he can finish chances like that more often than not then he is definitely going to be a valuable player to this team don't know whether you can see from that angle this one shows it better when he strikes it it's actually going outside the post and it bends in because he struck across the ball the ball arcs into that far bottom corner absolutely spectacular strike from uh, from the Frenchman there and he actually managed to pull one back here uh, just a few minutes later 18th minute and Mats Hummels wins that header from the corner Sylvain Marvo on the post probably could have cleared it if he'd stayed where he was supposed to be but we're going to play a through ball here from Boateng initially it was meant for Crouch who's offside but I managed to switch player and get him out of the way uh, quick enough for Theo Walcott to be able to have that effort smashes it off the inside of the post and really unfortunate not to extend our lead back to two goals here and we were really fortunate again uh, the goalkeeper Willy Caballero's first touch is horrific his clearance goes straight against Mandzukic but fortunately he can't get back to the ball quick enough to be able to have the angle to head it into the back of the net and uh, we were able to stay at 2-1 and that's how the game was going to finish three early goals in this one and we pick up our first points of the Division 10 season. Of course, we haven't played Divisions for a very, very long time. Quite a few weeks, in fact. But uh, we went back to it after a few single games. And uh, as you can see, these are going to be our first points. 400-ish, four to 500 coins. And uh, six games in now. We lost the first three with, uh, with the bronze team we had right at the beginning of the series. And they are our first points. So we're three points towards the nine you need for promotion. And, of course, the 12 you need for uh, for the title but we've got a new week it's a new week so we've got a season ticket pack to open and uh, the spinny gold ball is going to go around we actually get a decent pull although it's a player that doesn't fit into uh, into our starting lineups just yet we as you can see is Carlos Puyol a decent striker in uh, in Kakao and uh, Kiyo Kiyotake perhaps the uh, the Japanese player both from uh, Bundesliga in fact so maybe we can start to build a Bundesliga team with those two players being the uh, the main players in it but as you can see we're making a change to the current team our current quote unquote best team uh, I mentioned in the last episode Gamberini's been making mistake after mistake so I've swapped him out I've taken a chemistry knock of 4 from 93 to 89 but Bacchetti is a lot more solid a player not a more reliable a player so hopefully he can do well and he's going to have to do well against this team another again Division 10 what is a team like this doing in Division 10 we've just had to hope that the, the team like this is the only the sole reason is the fact that the guy isn't very good at the game but we're actually going to get another fantastic start the uh, Verratti's going to get played through has the shot it's well saved and he goes down but I couldn't see anything at first look that, uh, that indicated that the referee was going to give a penalty there didn't seem to be a foul there you'll be able to see from the replay I really don't think there was a foul there Verratti has the shot company's on his shoulder and I think he just clips his heel accidentally but uh, the ref deems that a penalty and Chabi Prieto in this side is the best penalty taker so he's going to step up this time tries to put it into the top left does so and we take an early 1-0 lead through a penalty again so we're hoping to perhaps maybe push on and go 2 nil up just like we did in the previous episode but in fact it's Aguero shows great strength to get away from the defender and as soon as he starts winding up to take that shot you just know it's destined for the top corner especially with the power behind it with that outside the right foot fantastic strike from Sergio Aguero and before I knew it I was actually going to be 2 nil down one matter with a shot great save from the goalkeeper but you just can't palm it clear can't get the uh, 
the wrist strength behind it to push it away from danger and it goes back to Luis Suarez's feet and then of course the uh, the console rubs it in by going oh don't worry I recorded that for you because the goalkeeper punched it out yeah cheers Xbox One but uh, Luis Suarez just on the cusp of offside there but fortunately for him it goes in his favour and uh, they're able to uh, to pick up a, a goal to put them in front but then it's us again that's going to get a rebound goal it's Ruben Castro does really really well to break through the lines comes back off the post as opposed to the goalkeeper this time and it's Alberto Aquilani that's on hand to put the ball into the back of the net to bring us back on level terms in first half stoppage time and that game much similar to the first game was really all decided in the first half the second half in both games was just a non-event it kind of all played out in the first half and then it was just a lot of midfield play if you know what I mean in uh, in the second half but fortunately we're still able to pick up uh, some points so we are now only five points away from that promotion uh, with five games left so it's definitely achievable the title might be out of our reach we don't know we'll have to wait and see but uh, I've discarded a couple of players that I'm definitely just not going to use and as you can see we've now got six and a half thousand coins in the kitty so for the next episode do I say Save and wait till the end of the episode and buy a seven and a half gram pack or do I buy a five gram pack here and now and then uh, try and see if we can get anything decent in that. Let me know in the comment section down below and then we will carry that action out in the next episode. But that is going to bring this one to a close. So if you did enjoy, of course, feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind. That'd be absolutely superb. If you aren't subscribed to the channel already, then feel free to click the link in the description or the annotation on screen over the Pac-Man. Follow me on Twitter at Chesno Gaming to have a real time impact on how these series play out, etc. Also, just to keep very much up to date with everything that goes on with this channel and myself and then if you missed the previous episode in this series then there will be an annotation to that over the pink ghost and the end slate but that is it for this one so thank you very much for watching guys and i will see you next time